Hello everyone, welcome to the lesson Longitudes and Latitudes, KCC 2019, paper 2, question number 20. The question reads, A ship left point P 10 degrees south, 40 degrees east, and sailed due east for 90 hours at an average speed of 24 knots to a point R. Take one nautical mile to be 1.853 kilometers and radius of the earth to be 6370 kilometers. Part A of the question, calculate the distance between P and R in 1 nautical mile B kilometer. Part B of the question, determine the position of point R, then C, find the local time to the nearest minute at point R when the time at P is 11 a.m. So that is the question. Let's go to the first part. First part, you're supposed to calculate the distance between P and R in nautical mile and in kilometers. Now the first thing you're going to do is to just have a sketch of this position P. Let me just draw a rough sketch here. Just a rough sketch. So that is the latitude which is at 10 degrees south and then um, 40 degrees east. 40 degrees east, I uh, can put it some of them. So this is the longitude. 40 degrees east. So point P and point P is somewhere here. This is the point P. So we given that that ship sailed due east. Due east means uh, directly east. So we can assume uh, that is the longitude. So it is sailed up to this point. This is R. That is due east, directly east of R. And we given uh, the speed, the speed that it used is, uh, let me see, 24 knots is given here. The speed is 24 knots. So to get the distance in nautical mile, the first thing we need to note is which type of distance this distance PR. This one is distance along the circle of latitude or distance along the small circle all what we call the circle of latitude. How do we get the distance on a circle of latitude in nautical miles? This is how we get the distance. So distance is given by, now we're given the speed and we're given the hours. Not these, eh? You're given the speed that you used to travel to sail from P to R so that is a 24 knot, the speed is given, and then the, there is time. So to get that distance, uh, we just need to get a speed multiplied by time. That is how we get the distance. Otherwise, uh, there is a still a formula that we use to calculate the distance along the circle of latitude, of which we do not require this time, since we're given the speed and we're given the time. So this will give us directly the distance. So we just need to take speed the speed is given in knots, a 24 knots. So this is a 24 knots. Multiply by the time. And the time is given as 90 hours. So when you multiply the speed in knots and time in hours, you will get the distance in nautical miles. So you just need to multiply 24. Multiply by 90, this will give um, 2160 nautical miles. So that is uh, simply how you're supposed to work out that part. Now part B, that is part A, and part B, that is uh, A part 1, so part 2 is distance in kilometers, so that is uh, part 1, so part 2, we, we need to get the distance in kilometers. Now also to get the distance in kilometers will be very easy, in this case uh, the reason is because there's something that we're given here, that one nautical mile to be equal to 1.583. That will help us. So one nautical mile is equivalent to 1.853 kilometers. So what you need to do is just convert the nautical miles that you obtained in the first part, which is um, 2160 nautical mile. You just need to multiply. So this is a 2160 multiply by 1.853 that will give the distance in kilometers. So it's just a matter of conversion, converting the nautical mile 
two kilometers. <coughs> so when you convert these, they were calculated into 116. Multiply by this will give 4002.48. 4002.48 kilometers. So that is how you get it. Because this one is one mark. This one is just one mark. I should not give him two marks. So there's one mark, there's one mark. So it's very easy to get that. Now part B of the question. Determine the position of point R. Determine the position of point R. The position of point R. Now for R, there's something that you know. You can see they lie on the same latitude. So R will be given by 10 degrees south. Lies on the same latitude. But what we don't know is the longitude. So we need to get the longitude. Now how do you get the longitude? Now to get the longitude, are there something that you're going to use here? As since we know the distance PR, the distance PR is uh, 2160 nautical miles. Now this is a point now where we need to ask ourselves, how do we get the distance in the circle, along the circle of latitude of the small circle in nautical miles? Now that is the formula that we need, this is the same that we need now. So distance is given by uh, 60 multiplied by theta multiplied by the cosine of alpha. That is the formula of getting the distance in nautical miles along the circle of latitude. Now where, in this case, theta is the longitude difference. That is the longitude difference. And then we have um, alpha. Alpha is um, the latitude angle. In this case, the latitude angle, since they lie on the same latitude, is 10 degrees. Now, this should give us the distance. So, what you need to do now, the distance, which is 2160, is given by 60 multiplied by theta, the longitude difference. So, in this formula, what we don't have is the longitude difference. That would help us to get the longitude of R, then multiply by the cosine of the latitude angle, which is 10. So, you can see in this... Um, equation we need to get theta and theta is um the longitude difference so theta will be given by 2160 and divided by 60 cosine of this is 60 cosine of 10 degrees so working out this um 2160 divided by 60 cosine of uh, this will give 36 60 cosine of 10 will give 36 Point five six degrees. So now this is the longitude difference. That is the longitude difference. Now having the longitude difference, we obtain that longitude difference by using calculating it using the longitude of P and the longitude of R. And when you look at R, R is to the east of P. P is um, forty degrees east then R should also be to the east. So to get the position of R, <clears throat> therefore, we need just to add. So we're going to take the longitude. So the longitude of R would be obtained by, by getting the longitude, this is the longitude difference, which is 36.56 degrees, and we add the longitude of P. And the reason, when you look at this uh, diagram, this sketch I've drawn here, you can see that R is to the east of P. P is 40 degrees east, then we have R is to the east. And you know how to get the longitude difference if two places are on the same side, either both of them are to the east or west. We subtract. To get the longitude difference, we get the difference. So in this case, um, we know that R will be to the east. So since we have the longitude differences, that is 6.56, uh, the longitude of R will be that sum, which will be 76.56 degrees. And therefore, the location or the position of R will be 10 degrees south and 76.56 degrees east. So that is the location of R. We can now go to the last question. The last question is uh, 
find the local time to the nearest minute at point R when the time at P is 11 a.m. So that is a question on longitude and time. There is a question on longitude and time. So P, the longitude of P is 40 degrees east. Then the longitude of R is uh, 76.56 degrees east. And we're given that the time, let me see. Now uh, we're given the time at P is 11 a.m. The time at P here is 11 a.m. So we need to get the time at R. Now when we are calculating time, we use the longitudes. Now the first thing we need to get is the longitude difference between these two places. Remember, the longitude difference will give a difference in time as well. So the longitude difference is already there. We have already calculated, we've given there, we've obtained it there. So you just get, you can just do it again. So the longitude difference, the longitude difference is obtained by getting 76.56 degrees. Subtract, you can see both of them are to the east, so we get the difference, 40.00. So we get 36.56. So there's something else that you need to know, that for every one degree, there's a difference of four minutes. For every one degree, there's a difference of four minutes. So what about uh, 36, this is the difference between these two places, P and R, 36.56 degrees. So this one will give uh, 36.56, multiply by four, and this one, how do you multiply? Um, when you multiply this, let me multiply this one very fast. Um, so 36.56, 36.56, multiply by 4, you get a 146.24. And then we divide by 60 in order to convert these minutes to hours. And when you divide these, we get, um, you divide these, we get uh, two hours and 26 minutes, two hours and 26 minutes. So when you divide 146.24 by 60 to convert the minutes into hours, you get two hours, 26 minutes. So what it means that between these two places, P and R, there's a difference of two hours, 26 minutes. Now, you need now to know which place will be ahead of time and which one will be the end of time. Now, when you look at P, P is 40 degrees east, then R is 76.5 degrees east. So places that are to the east of the prime meridian are always ahead of time. So R being far much ahead in terms of um, east, it is more to the east. R is more to the east than P, therefore it will be ahead of time. So to get the time of at R, we just need to take 11 a.m. 11 a.m. plus 2 hours and 26 minutes. And this will give 13. This is um, 13, 26 hours. Or you can give it as uh, 1, 26 p.m. And that is uh, simply how you're supposed to do that question. Thank you.